Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric, and it's the last Thursday of the month, and you know what that means, it's time for the Mr. News Roundup, and we're doing it for August. And it's been a really fun month with a lot of great happenings going on. First off, the Sega Saturn got a core update, and we did a video on that last week. Before we get to our Valdo, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But it has been an awesome August for Mr. and I can't wait to see what September brings. And I can't believe we're already at September. But right off the top, the Sega Saturn Core update made a lot more things work a lot better. It is still completely a preview. And if you didn't see my video last week for that, I'll leave a link in the description below or just check the playlists. But it's amazing that SRG320 is still updating this with this current situation being in Ukraine. But honestly, it's so fun to watch this in motion because the Sega Saturn is such a complex console with multiple processors or doing multiple different things. The fact that it works on Mr. is impressive and outstanding, and it's working relatively well. Some games like Die Hard Arcade here, the sound is off, but as far as the actual gameplay is concerned, it is quite on the money and things like 2D elements earthworm gym 2 here just work great and it's been fun to see the progress in this to be on the discords talking with other users about what's working what's not working what freezes for who it's just been a ton of fun to watch the progression of this and if you're not playing the mr sega saturn core yet i highly recommend you check it out because the more reports about what is and isn't working that we get the more helpful that is for other people using it and hopefully it helps the developer of the core as well but yeah, for the top update in Mr. News, Sega Saturn is here in beta. And speaking of beta things, last month I showed you that someone was working on an R-Type core, and that is now publicly available for you to check out. And this is an arcade legend. This is one of IREM's most famous shmups, and to have it working on Mr. is absolutely outstanding. And let me tell you, if you want an R-Type arcade PCB, they do not come cheap, and it's great to see some other games coming to Mr. R-Type has such a great lineage, and hopefully we see some more IREM games come over as well in the R-Type series. It would be fun to see a lot more of that on the system, but if you want to play R-Type in FPGA, you can do that today. And speaking of other shmups on the platform, someone is working on a prehistoric Isle Core for Mr. as well. Now this is SNK hardware before the Neo Geo was even a thing, and they do seem to have at least the title screen working. You don't get the preview bump, but if we move over to the actual ROM itself, this is another outstanding game that you should definitely check out and play, and it is exciting that it's coming to Mr. because again, this is not a very common PCB, and it's not a very cheap one. The sequel, Prehistoric Isle 2 on the Neo Geo, is definitely much more well known than the original, but honestly, you can't go wrong with this game whatsoever, and I can't wait for it to come to Mr. Now, pivoting over back to the console side, there have been some updates to the PlayStation 1 core, and the most impressive one is that 8x CD-ROM speeds have been enabled. Now, this won't work perfectly for every single game, but you'll see here, Robert is showing different previews of how the game loads up between the 8x CD-ROM and FastSeek versus the normal speed, and you are getting increased loading speeds, especially here on Tony Hawk. And this is a great improvement over a stock PlayStation 1 because it does have a slower CD-ROM drive and it does take longer to load. So not only is the PlayStation 1 core amazing on Mr., you now have improved load times and no one's going to complain about that. And speaking of things that no one would ever complain about, but Battle Garega is here on Mr. as well. This is an awesome game from Rising. It's one classic shmup and I really do love it. The only thing I don't like about this game is the projectiles can be kind of hard to see, but that's not the core developer's fault. That's the developer of the game's fault. But the sound is already spectacular, so go ahead and listen for like 30 seconds and I'll come back and keep telling you all the cool things that happened in August. Enjoy! Sounds great, plays great, looks great, love it. Now moving on, I mentioned OutRun last month and Hotego is still working on that. It is not here yet, but hopefully that does come soon. But somebody else in the background decided to start bringing some analog support to it. A Track 17 here, they are doing analog controls using a lot of the Logitech wheels. And that's going to be absolutely amazing to have on Mr. Because an arcade racing wheel is a must for most of these games. Playing OutRun with a controller would be fine, but honestly the real experience is having it with the wheel and the pedal set and even a shift if you so feel like. So it's great to see the analog wheel supports coming as well. 
Something I didn't expect and I was highly impressed and amused by is that the Game Boy cores are now playing two games at once. I knew that we had the support for multiplayer so you could play two of the same game at once, but now you can have two independent ROMs running with two different controllers playing two different games. It's not just a kitsch thing though, it's not just to show that you could do it. Some games running two instances you can link up and trade with, so this is a really fun if not strange development and I absolutely love it. Hotego here though, he did release Renegade to the beta Patreon, and that's another interesting game. I can't say that I love Renegade that much, but Hotego's definitely bouncing back and forth between older games, newer games, he's working on so many things at once, things like the Neo Geo Pocket Core. But maybe you're into Renegade, you leave me a comment down below and tell me. I've never really clicked with this game. Maybe it's just the play style, maybe it's the art style. That dude on the left there with his eyes looks like he's seen some stuff that he does not want to talk about. But Renegade is here for beta Patreon members and that means that very shortly it'll probably be available for the general public. But speaking of other games that are on the arcade side, Ninja Spirit as well is available for Mr. And this is definitely a fun 2D side-scrolling kind of like Contra game except you are a ninja with a sword. It is not an easy game. This is still in the arcade genre of take one hit and you are dead. But this may be one that you've been definitely looking forward to. I know I played it a few times. It's not my favorite arcade game around, but it is still a lot of fun. So definitely if you get the chance, I highly recommend that you check out this game, because why not? Now on the SNK side of pre-Neo Geo, last month I showed you that someone was working on an Akari Warriors core for Mr. And they had it going into the first boot status. And that core is now just working, as so you can pop it open and play some Akari Warriors. This is pre-Neo Geo stuff, and it is a ton of fun. It feels kind of like the precursor to stuff like shock troopers on that system but it's an absolutely fun scrolling kind of running gun style game that i highly recommend now if anybody out there is listening and they want to make another neo geo core we definitely need beast busters on the mister i love beast busters i love beast busters second nightmare but that game will never run on mister due to how newer it is but honestly if someone wants to make a core that i would love to preview on the channel you can do a lot worse than beast busters here and I know I had a video last week on the Cave 68K Core, but that is still in development. There's so many fun games to play on it right now, and I highly recommend you check it out, as honestly, it is just great. And it's still getting worked on, and I hope for September that a few more games will be running on the Core, so I can talk about them as well in the next Mr. News. But if you haven't tried any of the Cave 68K stuff, I'll leave a link to last week's video down below, or just check the playlist. But definitely give it a go, because it has so many good games already, and more in the pipeline. But honestly, the big takeaway from Agus is the fact that the Saturn Core was updated with a new build, and it is a ton of fun to play, and that's what I love talking about with these Mr. News videos. Not just the things that happened, but the things that are in progress of happening. You know, beta cores, previews of things that aren't available to the general public yet, or stuff like Sega Saturn here. I mean, this just looks like a Sega Saturn running in real time. Alien Trilogy, if you want one game that works really well on the core right now, I find it to be the best example of what's currently going on, but it's just a ton of fun to bring you all these news updates. Well, what I'm curious about is, leave me a comment down below, what are you most excited about in September? Is there a particular core in development you want to see more about? Is there a particular game that you hope starts running better on Mister? I'm always curious what you guys are interested in, because it sometimes does can you know control what I make you give me feedback and sometimes I make things because you ask me for them but yeah Sega Saturn got updated Alien Trilogy works amazing and I'm super happy for that but it has been a ton of fun in August and I can't believe summer is almost over here in September who knows what Mr. will bring I'm really curious to see what the back half of the year is going to be because we still have September October November and December to deal with on Mr. News and hey, even when December comes, it's not like Mr. isn't going to continue into 2023. I'm definitely going to continue making videos for into 2023. And who knows, it might even go beyond that. Sure to that, hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next week with another Mr. video. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But yeah, August was fun. Bye-bye.